Hey everyone, I'm John Tisson and today I'm going to teach you how to tether your Sony camera to your computer. First off, tethering is the ability to control your camera through your computer that allows you to change different settings such as aperture, shutter speed, white balance, ISO and a whole lot more. It also allows you to transfer your images as you take them straight from the camera to the computer. Now at the moment there are about 7 Sony cameras that can do this and that includes the A99, the A58, the A7 and the A7R, the A850, A900 and the A700. Now for this demo I'm going to be using my Mac computer but it's pretty much exactly the same if not similar if you're using a PC. The first thing you will need to do is install the software. You can do this on the CD packaged with your camera or you can download the software straight from the Sony website. You can download the program in the link in the description below. Once that's done, follow the prompts to install the program. Once the installation is done, switch on your camera and go into the menu. Navigate to the USB option and select PC. Once that's done, connect the camera to your computer open up camera remote control and you're connected okay so this is pretty much the layout of the remote camera control program on the top here you have the mode that you're in on your camera shutter speed aperture exposure compensation flash compensation and your ISO down here you have a battery icon which shows you how much charge you have left and your autofocus mode and your metering mode this is your autofocus lock, area exposure lock, and flash exposure lock. These two minus and plus buttons allow you to change the, uh, the aperture, for example, that we're in. So if I put plus, it goes up to 3.5, oh, f4, and so on. And over here is your record button. If your camera shoots video, you can start recording. Your shutter button. AFAE and this pretty cool thing here is a capture start or capture settings um, little menu that you can choose to start capturing immediately or you can delay your um, it's pretty much like a interval intervalometer on your cam uh, on your computer so you can set your uh, your intervals and the number of photos that you can capture. You can only capture 1000 but I'm not complaining. Um, okay further down we have your drive mode so you've got your bracketing, self timers, auto white balance and a few other white balance settings. Color temperature, your color filters, your picture effects so you pretty much have all of Sony's picture effects on here. Your uh, dynamic range your quality, so you can choose JPEG, RAW, fine, extra fine, you can choose the size of that image and your aspect ratio. You can also choose the folder that you save your photos in, so I'm choosing to save my photos to desktop, so if I press that shutter button, my photo will appear right there. There it is. Now I hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more Sony camera reviews and tutorials. You can also like my Facebook page for more photo updates. Until then, happy shooting and thanks for watching. If you like this video, you might want to check out some of my other reviews. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.